the University of Kansas basketball team was considered to be seriously at risk of not making it to the NCAA tournament after it lost its fifth game in a row in early February 1988, dropping its record to 12-8. and eight. This is Tim Wrencher, the history guy for CJ Online, talking about how that KU game not only made it to that tournament, it won the national title 30 years ago next Wednesday. Senior Danny Manning led Coach Larry Brown's team as it emerged from its slump by winning 15 of its last 18 games. Its only losses in that stretch came to Kansas State, Duke, and Oklahoma. Still, KU had 11 losses entering the NCAA tournament, and no team with 11 losses had ever won that tournament before or since. But the Jayhawks started the tourney by beating Xavier by 13 points, then defeated Murray State by three, and Vanderbilt by 13 to make it to college basketball's Elite Eight. KU's next three games were all against teams that had recently beaten them. But this time, the Jayhawks defeated Kansas State by 13 and Duke by seven to earn a place in the title game against an Oklahoma team known for its run and gun style. Kansas matched OU's fast tempo for the first half of the championship game on April 4th, 1988, leading to a halftime score of 50 to 50. The Jayhawks then slowed things down in the second half before winning 83 to 79. Manning led the way, scoring 31 points and getting 18 rebounds as the 88 KU team became known as Danny and the Miracles. The Jayhawks traveled the following weekend to Washington, D.C., where they accepted congratulations from then-President Ronald Reagan. This is Tim Wrencher, the History Guy, for CG Online.